wife was a good holiness woman. His girls, they went to church. And uh, they asked him, Daddy, won't you come to church with us? He said, I'm too busy for God. I don't have time for that. I'm trying to make a living. Can't you see I'm working every day? I ain't got time for God. Yeah, I'm trying to make a living. But his, his wife and his girls got to come to church. Right? And every night, they give him prayer to place. They said, pray for a Gotta get a hold of his heart. They said, pray every day. Gotta get a hold of his heart. That church got under a burden for her senior. They begin to cry and beg God to save his soul. God, whatever it takes, would you save her senior? God, whatever it takes, would you get a hold of his heart? You know, God went to his dream and right. to save the soul of Earl Senior. Yeah. There was an accident one day at the Hall of God. Yeah. And uh, uh, one of those big heavy duty forklifts right. ran over Earl Senior. Yeah. It crushed both legs from his ankles all the way up to his thighs. When they got into the hospital, the doctor came in there and told him, they said, there's nothing we can do. All right. They said, the bones in your legs are just like jelly. They're just like power. We can't save them. There's nothing to split together. There's nothing left. We'll have to amputate. Come on. While they were sitting there looking at that doctor, he said, before you do, doctor, All right. he said, just put me in cast long enough to get me back home. All he right. said, because my wife and girls go down there and go to church. He said, before you take my legs off, he said, Thank you. 
where she was. They have a little side door in their sanctuary about right there. She walked over that side door. Right. She, she hit that side door open. That door was swung open. She threw her hands to heaven. The Holy Ghost hit her. She went dancing and shouting. And a uh, uh, long story short, we've got a little girl that will turn to you in October. And we got a devil that will get here in November.
So I called him. I said, I sure wish you'd come. I already preached for the Steve Allen's uh, uh, youth round. He done so good. And he said, I don't think I can, but let me pray and see if I can move some things. So, you know, he had to work there to get to come here. And he preached so good. I appreciate it. The Lord bless the offer in Jesus' name. Now don't walk so fast, boys. Take your time. <laughs> don't cheat. No, but look there. Don't those walk right past his own cousin. And be really, really thirsty. Well, we'll, well, we've got a lot of waters. Did anybody get thirsty during that car practice? I got thirsty watching y'all. Somebody said, can we pass out waters? I said, you have to give me one. I haven't said a word. I was watching Brother, uh, I was watching Brother David Vance and Brother, uh, Zach Corbin. They were singing and dancing and shouting. And their coats and shirts were just ringing and their ties were ringing. I said, whoo, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't bump them up. Just watching. Amen. But anyhow, uh, we want, we want to do this and we're going to dive on into service. So I got more time to take up here for me. But, uh, uh, I guess we'll get out of the park in a second morning. And uh, how many wants to hear that camp part? I do. How many wants to hear the lady and get some Johnson? I do. Yeah. Amen. I like to hear brother Steve Allen's church. I do. Praise God. How many wants to hear Randy Webb preach? Amen. So, praise God. You know, if you want to camp, you can also want to camp crowd. Anyone at 11 o'clock, you wouldn't think that would Somebody thinks because we're here at the church can't be the kingdom. Well, let me tell you, two Sunday nights ago, three Sundays day after tomorrow, we started at 5.30 and at 7 minutes to 12, they were still shouting. They started shouting at 5.30. And you say, that's because it was the beat of music. No. For two hours and 50 minutes, there wasn't one note played on the piano. Come on. There wasn't one word of song sung. But it was dangerous. There's no word to step. They was laying all over the floors. And, and the folks were shouting and running. I thought, Lord, I hope, I think, well, I wouldn't say I hope. I said, it's got to be you. Or about a half dozen is going to be killed. But I tell you, you more than guys. Them guys were shouting between them and around them and standing over them. Never touched nobody. Dancing in the spirit, jumping over the I'll tell you why I didn't know we was having church service and athletic event. I really didn't know. But it was powerful in here. It was powerful in here. So don't worry about time. Let's just give in and let the Lord have his way. If you're a licensed minister in our fellowship, who would want to be? This is a great fellowship on earth. We're not an organization for all of you who says that. We're not a conference for all of you that thinks that. We are an independent ministerial licensing association. And I'm proud of every licensed minister in this house. I really am. So, anyway, I'll expect you to be here tomorrow at 10 o'clock for the business meeting. If you want to come and eat the donuts and breakfast stuff, come about quarter to nine or nine o'clock. We'll have all that kind of good stuff to get you all sweet so you can sweet for the business meeting. Praise God. All right, Kenny, where you at? Have a call. Let's say it. And all the rest of you all be ready. Be ready. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
in each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And they began to speak in other tongues. And the Spirit gave them utterance. You know, I believe that we can have another day, another night of Pentecost right here tonight. I believe we can have another Pentecost revival. The way no kill what's going to happen if we give God our all stuff. You know, y'all just get in, I'll be seen, and I challenge you, worship God. And you won't be disappointed.
Pastor John. Living a good life. Thank God. Hallelujah. I'm going to, I'm going to give the uh, last part a little bit of time to rest. I appreciate that, Sister Johnson. Here. So come on up, Sister Johnson. Then we'll give the last part up.
come on now. But somebody drove past and they had their window down and it was the fall and there were dead leaves in the ditch. Come on. Somebody flicked a cigarette out the window. And they just, they probably didn't know that they probably didn't have a clue that they set the whole hill on fire. Come on, brother Doug, that hill started burning, you know, where it that the mountain that goes up, you know, where my mama's buried and all that. It started up that mountain, it burned all the way up to the top. Come on. My children were scared. They said, well, the house, the house is going to burn. I said, no, get your lawn chair. I'm going to go get the camp chair. You're going to sit and watch it burn. We're not in any danger because we're protected by the And we sit in our yard and watch that mountain burn. Come on, I'm going, to, I'm going somewhere. And it burned a circle around my mama's grave. That grave didn't touch it. Come on, but my point is, it just takes one spark. I promise to you, if you don't know it, you're the spark. You're the spark. You're the spark. Come on. Love is the key. Love is the key. Look at somebody in one of our and say, well, God bless you. Look at somebody at the gas station and say, Jesus loves you. Come on. Show love to people. That's how you set fires everywhere. They're going to want what you've got. They'll look at you and say, well, she's the real thing. Or he's really got it. Nobody got no same drinking, so y'all help me.
said, Brother, are you this deal on emotion? No, I'm not. But you can, I can't even look in emotion when I hear about all the good things of the Lord. Here singing, here preaching, man, it just stirs me up. You know, the Lord usually the one says we just we're just uh, uh, moved by emotion, never have anything. Just watch them, they never have anything. I mean emotion. They just don't have anything. So thank God here's the guy, I'll put the last part of that same force and come out of up and sing and uh, we're all, we're gonna hey, I'm gonna stay with Brother Randy, he preaches eleven o'clock. Amen. I'm going to stay right with the preacher at 12 o'clock. Stay right with the call. If the mass choir is not too long or out for singing an hour and a half before church started, come and sing for us tonight. Boy, oh boy, do they sing good. Surround me, guys. I'll never get
白说。
return. She took her journey. I tell you, you don't have to go. I'm almost done. I don't know, feel like I can turn into this. But I feel like I tell you this. You don't have to go away. You say, well, I could never act like that. Do you think we're going to say, did you get in? You got to look like Brother Randy? There wouldn't be nobody here. God's going to take you. And he's going to claim you. Yeah. And make your life worth living. Come on, my brother. Can you hear me? Can the church say amen? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Listen, brother. Let people say nothing. Oh, 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 oh. And I'm going to tell you. And I know this has been a wonderful service. A lot of great things happen. People get to pray. Yeah. Because the presence of the Lord is there. Amen. But if you did come in tonight, oh, oh, oh. you came for the purpose of this. And help. And so far, all you've done is about hot. I want to tell you there's still time for you. Don't turn back. Don't turn around. Don't go over the building. I'll tell you what that watch is. It's a mountain. 38 years they come past one mountain for 38 years. What a boring, endless, monotonous life. Never any progress. Are you here?
About once a year, I get sarcastic. This is my day. How's the honeymoon? You know what the truth was? He wasn't going nowhere.
Do you think that God gives a man a message like this just because he's got to preach four times, he's got to preach seven times? That's not it. You know, you know uh, that's, not, that's not it. There are two of these nights, Brother Webb has reached really hard for souls. And it's been obvious, and, it, and I felt it, both nights. So let me tell you, I look around everybody else. You know, if you've been here both nights, you've been checking yourself out. And I'll tell you what, uh, uh, me and my granddaughter and uh, Sister Rachel were catching about a year ago, wrote a song. And it, it just says, the guilt is gone. The guilt is gone. And I'm going to tell you here today, I believe the Lord can take all the guilt away. I believe you take it all, don't you? Amen. The Lord's able to take the guilt away from you. Now look, you may think it's a long service. It's just 22 or 3 after 9. Just one more time, if you will. Let's bow our heads and really pray. Really pray to seek the Lord. Just, just take a couple of minutes here. Let's, let's seek the Lord here. Right now, friends. Hallelujah. Help us, Jesus. I call for thee this night. I have sought you out. I have spoken to you by the mouth of my prophet tonight. And you know, you know that you need me tonight. And I say unto thee this night, if you will come to me, I will receive you. Even after all this time. And I will forgive you, say the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, say some please. Keep praying, I still feel like the Lord. Come on, let's keep praying. Oh, Lord, help us, Jesus. I'm trying to keep my composure. 
here tonight. I feel like there's somebody here tonight and you just feel like the guilt's too big, too much. But the guilt can be wiped away. Let's try to force. I'm going to try to keep my composure, composure to say this. The guilt is gone. Now my soul is singing. The guilt is gone. And I'm on my way to heaven. Sin and shame washed away. Paid the price I couldn't pay. Jesus did it like a sense of time. Praise the Lord. Is gone. The guilt is gone, and now my soul is saying, The guilt is gone, and I'm on my way to heaven. Sin and shame is washing away. He paid the price I couldn't pay. Jesus did my sins atone. Praise the Lord the guilt is gone. Just one more time. I want you to think. The guilt is gone. Now my soul is singing. The guilt is gone. And I'm on my way to heaven. Sin and shame is washed away. He paid the price I could pay. Jesus did my sins and time. Praise the Lord for you. Come on, let's, let's pray one more time. Let's pray. You girls that knows this 